This summer saw the return of National Night Out. It's always that first Tuesday in August, and it is a product of Neighborhood Watch Association. This is what's involved. We put signs up, people have their block parties, uh, those kind of things going on. And so National Night Out is the one big day nationally to recognize Neighborhood Watch Association. The most important part of National Night Out is to make neighborhoods aware of what to watch for. Activity that isn't normal, cars we normally don't see. Uh, keep an eye on our neighbors, our, our people in our neighborhood, their property, and them. While National Night Out is a product of Neighborhood Watch, there's more to it. It's also the night that we usually ask people to leave their porch light on all night long. Uh, that's kind of how you recognize National Night Out. While Papillion celebrates National Night Out on the first Tuesday in August with the rest of the country, this year it was at a new place with a new look. We had our event there at City Park, uh, kind of a show and tell of uh, some of our equipment. You know, our canine uh, officer and, and the dog were there. We had the drone operator there showing some things. We had some police cars there. We had our dare car there. We had our uh, incident command trailer there. Uh, just kind of like come out, meet and greet with the police department. There's no question that COVID took its toll on events like National Night Out. The past few years, Werner Park hosted National Night Out during a Storm Chasers home game. This year, there was no home game at that time. We decided to put this event together at City Park, and I think this is really important this year because we didn't get to have one last year. And because of COVID and restrictions and people that really weren't out and about, this gave us an opportunity to kind of show what we have and, and remind people that we're here for you, uh, not against you, but for you. Uh, we're still the same police department we've ever been. In light of what's going on nationally and in the media, uh, we haven't changed the way we do business. We're still here for the people. We're still community-oriented policing. That approach and image is huge for the Papillion Police Department. Come meet us, come see us. I think we had nine of our officers there uh, to, to come in and had enough people that we could talk with uh, the citizens and say, do you have any concerns, do you have any questions, anything that we can help you with? And I think it went really well. We had uh, somewhere between 250 and 300 people show up, mm -hmm. which was a surprise to us. We didn't really think we'd get that many. Having National Night Out at City Park was a great idea. A lot of people just driving by saw the vehicles and pulled in. Uh, so uh, I think it was really important this year to, for us to remind people in our community we're still here and we're still here to, doing the community oriented policing that we've always done. Hear more about National Night Out in another Papillion Now story. Thanks for watching. For Papillion Now, I'm Tori Pantaleon.